Hey guys, hi and welcome back. Thank you so much for coming on this series. My name is Arzu Shah. I'm a 20 year old girl from Mumbai who's on a mission to make India believe in herself. The reason I started this mission is because I have been someone who knows how it feels when you do not believe in yourself. I know how it feels when you have limitations set on yourself for everything that you do in life that you will not be able to do this, you will not be able to do that. I know how it feels when you're in the space where you're constantly judging yourself and you're constantly criticizing yourself and when you're always in that space where you do not feel peace with your own self. And because I knew how it felt to feel this way about your own self, I wanted to know an answer. I wanted to find the difference between women who are out there inspiring the entire world, inspiring millions of other women and women on the other side who do not feel good about themselves. So I went on to study psychology for three years. I went through a lot of trainings and seminars and I discovered a way out for myself. When I discovered a way out for myself, I really wanted to come out and I wanted to reach out to other women who did not know how to value themselves, who wanted to find a way to believe in themselves. And that's the reason I started this video series that's called I'm Beautiful From Within. For this video series, we have some of the most incredible women in our country who are coming out here and who are sharing with all the women out there that they can achieve whatever they want in their life if they believe in themselves. In our last interview, we had a girl called Simran Parinja who's an actress. And she also shared with us how she has overcome her fears and how she's at such a young age and she's achieving her dreams because she decided to believe in herself. So I'm very excited to introduce our today's guest because she's been a part of my childhood while growing up and I'm sure she's been a part of your childhood while growing up if you've watched cartoons. She's the voice behind a very famous Noddy. She's the voice behind Daisy and Bob the Builder. She's the voice behind so many other popular cartoons. She's given her voice behind some of the most popular Hollywood dubbings like Baywatch. And when I talk about breaking limitations as a woman for her own self, she's now married and she still continues to work. She still continues to follow her passion and her dreams. And she manages her family at the same time because she's genuinely passionate about what she's doing. Let's hear it from her. Her name is Meghna Joshi. First, tell me how does dubbing work? I'm really excited to know how everything works. I've been seeing okay. Naughty like during my childhood. I've been seeing Bob the Builder. Just tell me a little, how does it work? Okay, I'll tell you my characters first. Yeah. Okay, so it's Naughty from Make Way for, uh, for Naughty. Then uh, DZ from uh, Bob, the Builder. Bob the Builder. Then uh, DD from Dexter's Lab. Harriet from, uh, you know, have you seen all these? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Because I've Small seen. Wonders is something which was uh, really nice when we were young. I grew up watching these cartoons and I started dubbing for these cartoons. And this is an imaginary world. You're yeah. away from the reality yes. and you're in that cartoons and uh, basically that keeps your uh, innocence yes. uh, in you. So yeah. uh, I feel that cartoons is something where uh, you're away from the reality at the same time, uh, you know, you are in your senses. Yes, completely so, agree. Uh, we go to, there are like two studios, okay. One is the dubbing studio and one is the recording studio. So uh, I get into the studio and there is a mic in front of me. Then I get a translated script. Okay. Then I see a monitor, which is like kind of a TV, just a TV or the basic yeah. monitor. Hota hai, and I get to see the Japanese track, which is going on, uh, okay. probably Ninja Hattori or whatever. The Ninja is yeah. a Japanese character. Okay. okay. So I get to see a Japanese, uh, you know, pilot track in my cans. I have a headphone. And yeah. then at the same time, you have to see the monitor. Mein dekhna hai. Okay. Kaan mein jo pilot track hai, wo sunna hai. My पे जो आवाज आपको करनी है उसका ध्यान रखना है एंड यू हैव टू रीड द डायलॉग सो लाइक यू डू कपल ऑफ थिंग्स टुगेदर एंड यू नीड टू कंसंट्रेट ऑन दैट एंड दैट इज हाउ वी डब लाइक चली हवा चली शहर के आर पार तुम जानो मैं जानो मैं ना मानू हाय ओह वाह दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क्स इवन फॉर मूवीज या द सेम वे या सेम थिंग बट फॉर मूवीज इट्स क्वाइट डिफरेंट बिकॉज़ देन देयर आर लॉट ऑफ रीटेक्स फॉर मूवीज वी डू रिहर्सल लाइक फॉर एनिमेशन वी डू वन रिहर्सल एंड वन टेक बट फॉर मूवीज प्रोबेब्ली वी टेक कपल ऑफ रिहर्सल्स एंड कपल ऑफ टेक्स so because okay. uh, when i dub for pamela anderson and baywatch mm-hmm. i need to adopt her style i need to yeah. justify her character i need to study her character but in cartoons it's like you know you know exactly what you're doing because you can relate to yes, it yes yes and you enjoy it when cartoons more because uh, mm-hmm. they're very cute and they're beautiful 
Yeah, very good. <laughs> and it keeps your innocence alive. You know, I've been always told that. Absolutely. You innocence. know, you're too, you're too innocent. You're too kiddish. But yeah, that's where it. It all lies, you know, in your innocence, in your That's honesty. That's what I wanted to tell you, Arzu. When you told me about this concept, I just felt that uh, wherever I go, you know, I meet a lot of people. Even my friends, my close friends, they always say that, uh, "Oh, Meena is so cute. Meena is such a chubby girl. Meena, Meena, they do this. Ah, oh, Ogatari. They call me Ogatari. That's my name, like you know. So, but uh, once I felt that. They, they 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 say that I'm beautiful, but whether I am beautiful from within, I was not sure of that. So once I decided, ki okay, let's have a journey of my own. Okay, yes. let's look into that. Let's look into my past, and then I realized ki uh, when I peeped into myself in my heart, but जब अंदर जा रही थी जा रही थी जा रही थी, it was quite uh, enlightening. It was nice. But then I saw. Uh, dark passage okay in my heart and when i went through it was there was this lot of ego <laughs> hatred and insecurities and those were killing me <laughs> those were killing me and i said this is what i want this is what i've been uh, having this is where i belong to no i can't do that i mean come on my insecurities can't kill me my my uh, you know hatred this negativity like out of heart even if i put lot of makeup i mean i should wipe out whatever is there in me so it took me real long time to understand that my past was a past it's yes. gone i need to forgive whatever happened and i need to apologize for the people who have been hurt Like you know, yeah. uh, I, you I, I, it it's it's not it like happen. you deliberately do it. Yeah, it's not your intention. But intention, it but sometimes it yeah. happens that you might see something which is not appropriate. So first of all, I'm very sorry for whatever I've done. Like you know, not bad things, but unintentionally. Yeah. If I've hurt someone, I I should be sorry for that, and I forgive people who hurt you. Me. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, and it just happened because of. Uh, Louis, definitely. Yeah, Louis Hay. Yeah, Louis Hay is my inspiration. Uh, one of my friends she introduced to me. Uh, mine is a re- arranged marriage. Okay, so uh, th- this was like a decision where I have to say yes or no. In that period, uh, I had a sprain in my uh, ankle. Okay. Okay. So uh, I I was like, why I got that spasm? I was clueless. I mean, I wear heels every day, and something was wrong at that point. Why? What was wrong? Then I read into that uh, Louis Hay. Uh, you can heal your life. life yeah. In uh, you can heal your life. I got the reason where I was not able to make a decision. So that thing happened to me. Yeah. yeah Then yeah. I made up my mo- mind and I said yes, he's the one. I want to get married to him. I want to spend rest of my life with him. And believe me, उस दिन से आज तक एक बार भी मेरा पैर मुड़ा नहीं है और कुछ भी नहीं हुआ है. Touch wood. <laughs> so you know uh, that was the point where I realized that yes, I should get into affirmations. Yes. Okay. So uh, wherever you're free, whenever you have time, uh, you can see these uh, affirmations which is there. Like I'm open and receptive to the all good and abundance things in the universe. I deserve the best, you know, and I accept everything. So basically, uh, sometimes you know it happens in my field. I'm a voiceover artist. There are ten thousand odd voiceover yes. artists in Mumbai. So every day I have to prove myself that I'm the best. Sometimes I get insecure. Sometimes I feel, oh my God, she's taken my work. Ye ho gaya, wo ho gaya, and falan dekan. Then I I sit back and I I I I think, I relax myself and I tell myself that it's my fate, it's my luck, it's my destiny, yes, right? No one can take that. No away one from. can take that away from me. And whatever I'm getting, I should be thankful to the God for giving me uh, this beautiful life, which I deserve it. Yes. Right. And. Uh, Even I feel that uh, sometimes, you know, when I have gone through some things in life, I realize I was. This was like way back. I was in my tenth. I was six, no, fifteen when I in my tenth, and then I realized that I wasn't able to forgive a lot of people because when you are in that space of life, you have a lot of fights with your friends. Like 
you know a lot of fights arguments sometimes someone gets friends with this one someone gets friends with that one there's groupism happening and i built up a lot of hatred in myself against a lot of people for like those 6 7 months of my life and then my brother introduced me to this book you can heal your life and i had an audio recording of that book oh, so i nice. used to listen to it and there she spoke about forgiving people i had realized i was really falling sick because i kept on holding things in my heart against others and then listening to those affirmations in that process i decided to let go and forgive a lot of people in that process exactly. and then i continued but sometimes that. you understood at the right time yeah but sometimes for me it is i years. feel yeah it's a bit late for me because i had lot of grudges i had lot of insecurities i had lot of things and i started putting on weight and at that point where i felt ki this is not normal i mean putting yeah. on 30 kg is is again i i thought i'm in depression i'm in deep depression was that before your marriage or uh, no no marriage? after my delivery okay yeah so basically uh, after mm-hmm. delivery you put on weight yeah, but yeah, this 30 do. kg is a huge amount you know yeah. but then instead of cribbing about it i started enjoying my healthiness um, yeah. i'm happily plump and i feel that now i'm quite comfortable. comfortable with my body i'm quite comfortable with myself you should know why you're here for like in this yeah. we're so uh, 84 uh, to be 8 to 84 lakh yonis that like uh, yeah it's like uh, 84 lakhs janam lene ke baad you get oh, yeah, this yeah, 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 human, human life. life yeah even i have heard that so agar ek hi life hai aur wo bhi you never know I asked someone ki, uh, can you tell me मैं पिछले जन्म में कौन थी आई मेट सम तुम यू नो साफा फूल इट्स फूल साफा वॉट इज इट कॉल इट्स कॉल साफाट पर्सन टोल यू तुम साफा का पेड़ थी हाय हाय तुम्हें हिली भी नहीं पार्टी करो नहीं है यार यू शुड वेन यू गो टू दैड एटलीस्ट एक चीज मैंने किसी एक को स्माइल दिया यू नो थोड़ी आई just give you smile and you yes. written that to me yes. it's it's kind of mera din ban gaya aaj ka din you know you made my day today yeah. so even if you smile at a stranger and you get that smile back you're done for the day uh, no matter what what is your age yes. but you always have a child within you okay so uh, let that child be alive and musty core you know always so with me cartoons ki wajah se wo baby mere andar hi rehta hai so make sure that you don't lose your uh, childhood at all please keep that child always uh, alive in you second would be uh, is be yourself and have faith that you can do anything and everything and even if you don't it's okay try <laughs> it's fine it's a hard time successful hona is not the thing but at least you tried yeah that's the main thing right so uh, i mean it's okay to try and the third and the most amazing thing in the world is be positive and i am beautiful from within